Welcome back. It's bar month for On Milwaukee, which means they are featuring all the ins and outs of Milwaukee's bar culture. So I'm joined now by On Milwaukee's Molly Snyder for a guide to some locations that are a little bit lesser known. So Molly, always good to have you with us. And I know, you know, you've been studying this very difficult work. So tell us about some of these bars <laughs> that maybe people don't know about. Right. These are hidden gems. These are the ones that are nestled in neighborhoods that you might not know about. And we've had the hard task the last few years of going visit and seeing which ones were cool and friendly. And now here we are. I'm here to uh, share some of those. Uh, one of my favorites is in Bayview. It's called Club Garibaldi. Uh, it's been around uh, since the early 1900s. It's a bar. It's a music venue. Uh, they also serve food. And if you are a wings person, if you like wings, they consistently win best wings at On Milwaukee year after year, or at least come in second at the very least. Uh, just a wonderful place to experience Milwaukee history, have a Milwaukee beer, and if you're into it, have some really good wings. So Garibaldi, great place to check out if you haven't already. Uh, one of my other favorite places uh, in terms of hidden gems is JMO's. Now, this is on the east side of Milwaukee. Uh, it's close to Brady Street, but it's about a block and a half off of Brady Street, just to the north. So it has a real neighborhood corner bar feel to it, but yet it's really close to the action if you wanted to walk down and uh, check out what's happening uh, on the livelier streets after you had a drink at JMO's. Uh, JMO's is like a little dark lounge booths, uh, Christmas tree lights all year, uh, just a really nice place to go in and have a drink uh, with a friend or on a date and just have some conversation. Um, it's just really low key. And we're also showing video of Monica's right now. And you know what? I was just oh, I was yes. just talking with our producer saying how I've been to County Clare a bunch and I know Monica's is right there and I haven't stopped inside. Yes, Monica's is very understated, uh, literally be under because it's a walk down when you're uh, on the sidewalk, you actually walk down a flight of stairs to this bar that's underground. And uh, once you get there, it's really friendly. They have a large bar pool table uh, owned by a woman. I really like to point that out because we don't have a lot of women owned bars in Milwaukee. Just super friendly place. That's also you if you like to talk to people at bars, it's a good spot because there's a lot of hotels in that area. Of course, you said County Clare, there's the Knickerbocker, the Astor. So you might find some people who are traveling too. And that's really the beauty of these bars is they're really places to go have a drink and to talk to people or people watch or talk to the bartender. Uh, it's really uh, something that's enjoyable if you like to get out and uh, just find have a really easy, light conversation with uh, people in your community or beyond. Yeah, I like that. It's always awkward when you walk in a place, everyone stares at you and then no one says anything. So <laughs> it's good to go to a right. friendly place. What about Red Bar? That's the last one we have here on the list. Yeah, Red Bar. Now that's in St. Francis. And St. Francis has uh, been a spot that's been really uh, opening up the last few years. Now this one also women owned. Uh, it has a really nice uh, pool table, has a nice bar. They have great food. Uh, again, if you want to do like a fish fry or a barbecue, great food uh, at Red Bar. And also it has a little bit of motorcycle culture, uh, which makes it really kind of even more Milwaukee. But again, the nice thing about these bars is we're not talking about the bars with the big themes. We're not talking about the bars with the selfie stations. We're not talking about the bar. <laughs> you know, the real, these are like these, what made one of Milwaukee's strong points. These are the corner taverns. These are the hidden gems. These are the spots where you go in and you're not going to feel weird. You're not going to feel like people are staring at you. You're just going to go in and chill out and have a beer. Okay. I love this list, Molly. Thank you.